Let's get it in the dog. Alright guys. When I say it is an absolutely spectacularly gorgeous, I am talking an over-the-top beautiful postcard perfect day here in the collapse of everything. I am not exaggerating. This is, it is just an unbelievably gorgeous. It is a Saturday afternoon, September 16th, 2023, and I have several happy young couples arriving to do what they do in the tiny houses every night. Uh, another rant for another day. Uh, before they get here, I have just a few minutes of privacy to do today's chronicle of the collapse, and, and I can swear I had this rant recently, but I went and checked, I went back several weeks, and don't see it, maybe I was just imagining it, but we're going to talk about one more time, and maybe this will be the final nail in the coffin about the unadulterated horse shit of these carbon credit trading schemes like red and and this crap that uh Rhett Butler at Manga Bay has been cheering this bullshit on for years and and I admit guys I never really got down and studied what this was all about. Whenever, for years, whenever I saw one of these articles in Manga Bay, I said, I smell a rat. My bullshit uh, indicator light was flashing wildly. Uh, everything about this from day one has sounded like corporate greenwashing bullshit. It, it, it is a license to kill, is, is all it is, and you know, Rhett was just doing it again. Yesterday, I didn't talk about the story because I didn't want to insult my intelligence or yours. He was running another article, I think there were two of them yesterday, and promoting one of the bright green lies of the 21st century. Now, it's maybe not quite in the league of this uh, unadulterated horseshit carbon capture and storage, but, but it's right up there with it. Uh, unadulterated horseshit, and I guess we have, I, I know I have done rants in the past, but I guess we just have the latest. Uh, let me do a computer dog trade here. J just the latest, and this is coming at you from those little lefties at Common Dreams, because you're sure as hell not going to see this article in the mainstream media, because, you, you know, this unadulterated bright green lie horse shit about uh, these carbon credit schemes, well, I will call them scams, are, you know, it is a cornerstone of the little lefty, greeny, mainstream environmental agenda. Uh, anyone is buying this crap. Uh, anyway, and you can draw your own dots on what this has to do with these morons in their Just Stop Oil campaign. I guess there's some big march going on tomorrow. Maybe we'll have a rant about it tomorrow. But today we're going to go over to Common Dreams for the latest research on this from our favorite little lefty doomer chick, Jessica Corbett. You know, and good for Jessica and good for Common Dreams uh, for... You know, they're a major lefty uh, organization, uh, but good for Common Dreams uh, for having the balls 
to uh, call out this emperor has no clothes story because not many lefties uh, have the courage to do it. And now I'm wondering about the wind on the camera that I'm going to press forward. All right. So obviously this is talking about some of my previous rants. Echoing previous warnings from climate advocates and studies, an environmental watchdog on Friday, meaning yesterday, released research from experts at the University of California, which shows that trying to offset fossil fuel emissions with popular forest carbon credit projects, quote, is a pipe dream. As the new Berkeley Carbon Trading Project Assessment funded by Carbon Market Watch explains, quote, the voluntary carbon market generates credits each nominally equivalent to one metric ton of carbon dioxide reduced or removed from the atmosphere from a wide range of projects around the globe, close quote. Critics have long argued that carbon credit schemes, otherwise known as carbon credit scams, are, quote, false solutions. False solutions. When a solution is false, it's no longer a solution. A false solution is a contradiction in terms. It is no solution. It is greenwashing bullshit. Uh, let's see. Critics have long argued that carbon credit schemes are false solutions that harm poor communities where such products are based and enable corporations worldwide to greenwash their polluting activity rather than implementing reforms or investing in action to actually combat deforestation and the climate emergency. And this is the assessment talking about this Red Plus program that Rhett Butler has been bragging about for about a decade while I've been hitting the I smell a rat button. Quote, Red Plus, officially known as reducing emissions from deforestation and forest degradation is the project type that has the most credits on the voluntary carbon market, about a quarter of all the credits to date. These projects, these red projects, pay governments, organizations, communities, and, in, and individuals in forest landscapes, primarily tropical ones in the global south, for activities that preserve forests and avoid forest-related greenhouse gas emissions, close quote. Okay, so with that cumbersome definition of what RED does, you know, what it does, it's selling corporations credit to go ahead, to go right on about doing what corporations do, and that's rape and pillage the planet. Total bullshit. Over the past two decades, more than $3 billion has been poured down the drain into Red Plus and nearly half a billion, half a billion carbon credits have been awarded, yet the report notes, quote, deforestation is still continuing at an alarming rate. Hmm, 
Berkeley researchers' analysis of four methodologies that have generated almost all the red credits under VERA. This might be another one you've heard of, V-E-R-R-A, the largest voluntary carbon market registry revealed that estimated greenhouse gas emissions reductions were dramatically exaggerated. Do you think so? Uh, this is, I guess, a tweet from Carbon Market Watch. The risk of CO2 release due to natural factors is hugely underestimated. Attempting to offset fossil fuel emissions with red projects is a pipe dream. Stop the greenwashing and rethink forestry conservation. Okay, back to uh, common dreams. Uh, this is Barbara Haya who led the research. Quote, we found significant overcrediting from all of the factors we reviewed, the core causes of which are a combination of incentives and uncertainty. Everyone involved in the voluntary carbon market from the buyers and sellers of credits to the registries who write the rules, <coughs> otherwise known as the foxes guarding the headhouse, and the auditors who enforce them all benefit from more credits. Large uncertainty in climate benefit calculations creates many opportunities for market participants to choose assumptions that inflate credits issued. Hmm. Drawing on all the evidence, we conclude that red plus is ill-suited for carbon offsetting, close quote. Uh, Okay, so here are some of the assessment summaries. All right, project baselines are significantly overestimated, the research found, leading to the creation of carbon credits that represent imaginary emission reductions. Number two, similarly, leakage, leakage is systematically underestimated by projects, which makes use of flexibilities provided to them by the methodologies to downplay the risk of deforestation moving to areas outside of their project. Next, the creation of low-quality carbon credits is further fueled by exaggerated estimates of the quantity of carbon stored within the trees that are protected by the projects. Next, the risk that the trees protected by red projects will die in the future is also drastically underestimated by projects which again use methodological flexibility to misrepresent the real deforestation threat that forests will face in the future and finally the safeguards implemented by VERA are weak, they do not protect communities from harm, and 
are not properly upheld by the validation and verification bodies. Of course, Vera is uh, completely denying uh, all of these charges. It goes uh, without saying uh, this is Ingo Weiberg, a CMW policy expert on global car carbon markets. Quote, businesses are offsetting their emissions on the cheap by buying low-quality carbon credits connected to forest protection projects in the global south when only one in every 13 carbon credits represents a real emissions reduction, their action is lost in the forest, close quote. Um, meanwhile, as Gilles Dufrans, CMW's policy lead on global carbon markets, highlighted, quote, Biodiversity, the climate, and indigenous people or local communities are losing out on what should have been a system to drive meaningful financial flows to the forest conservation projects that so desperately needed. Offsetting should be axed, he argued. You know, this carbon offsetting should be axed. It cannot work in its current form in its current form, and carbon markets must evolve into something different different. The focus should be on getting money to the right place rather than getting as many credits as possible. Close quote. Uh, as Patrick Gailey, senior fossil fuels investigator at Global Witness, pointed out on social media yesterday, the new research was released as the African nation of Liberia is preparing to sign a carbon offsetting agreement conceding 10%. 10% of its territory to Blue Carbon, a private company in the United Arab Emirates led by a member of an Emirati royal family. Uh, quoting Patrick Gailey from uh, Global Witness, I guess, from his, if you still call these, tweets. This is absolutely staggering. The UAE is reportedly set to buy 10% of Liberia in a bid to offset its carbon emissions. The territory you know, in, in Liberia which includes already protected lands, holds no guarantee it will offset any emissions at all. Uh, this deal stinks from top to bottom. Liberia selling off 10% of its territory to a firm that has existed for less than a year, run by the same family that provides over a fossil fuel empire. <clears throat> oh, God. Uh, anyway, Middle East Eye reported late last month that the deal for, quote, control of one of the most densely forested territories on the continent would violate a number 
of Liberian laws, including the 2019 land rights law, close quote. Additionally, as CMW policy expert Jonathan Crook said, quote, there is no clarity as to what will be done to calculate what emissions reductions have taken place for good reason is that there it, 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 it's a joke it, it is corporate greenwashing bullshit on steroids uh, thank you the little lefties and common dreams for letting me get that off my chest and hopefully this will be the last one of these rants th that I need to do. And I'm, I sent this article to Rhett Butler at Manga Bay and highly advised he uh, run it in Manga Bay next week. I will not hold my breath to see if uh, this new research shows up in Manga Bay or not, my prediction is it will not. And with that, I need to wrap up this chronicle of the collapse and get out my planet-saving electric lawnmower to uh, get this place all manicured. For the oncoming tide of vacation tourists. My guys, this little dog, are you ready to get out there and enjoy this beautiful day of chippy chasing?